I realized I haven't shown you where I'm staying, but this is my one room in the Airbnb. We got a bed, a little dresser, nightstand. This is my homemade desk. Put my laptop right here and then I can edit. It's so DIY, but it looks like this, sitting on the suitcase, which sometimes falls, but you know, you gotta make do when you don't have space. It's pretty cozy. It's got what I need. It's got a kitchen out there and nice closet. Wait, no, that's the door. That's the closet. Now I'm gonna go head to my friend's office, do some editing because I need to finish the 368 domino video and the behind the scenes. I know it's gonna take so long, so I'm just mentally preparing myself for a very long night of editing and uploading, but I'm gonna get it done, so let's go edit. <laughs> started editing yet but I'm taking a lunch break now in Koreatown and getting some nice food with a friend. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So good. Okay I cut the egg. Oh now it's going everywhere. Keep mixing, go underneath. Like mix the whole thing. Yeah, mix the whole thing. Okay. Wow this looks really good. editing ah editing's going very well i'm almost at the fall down point of the video and it's looking pretty good super epic music but now i'm gonna take a little break for dinner it's been a good productive day so far don't watch me eat that's weird it's 11 31 at night now and i'm actually almost done the behind the scenes video i swapped and i switched to the behind the scenes i'm not done the fall down video yet but almost there. All I, all I have left is the fall down section of it. I might actually stay in this office and like sleep here tonight because it's a really nice editing station. I have enough food and I don't feel like walking back at like 2 in the morning so... Uh, it's 3.30 in the morning and I'm still editing but I'm making it perfect. <sighs> Pretty tired. I'm still in the office but I'm getting there. Friday nights are always late nights. Well, it's... 5.51 a.m. and I think it's done, but you never know. There could be things when I wake up in the morning that need to be changed or added. I'm gonna go to bed though. This is my bed for tonight. Uh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And if that means pulling an all-nighter on Fridays, then I try to make it happen. All right, actually though, good night. I finished the video, finally. People seem to like it, so very happy about that. I'm happy with how the video came out, and I'm glad I put the time in to make it look right. I don't recommend pulling an all-nighter. I booked so many things in this trip, it's like hard for me to find time to explore New York now. I need to like work on not overpacking my schedule. I'm on my way to meet up with my sweet mate from college. We used to share a dorm. She was like in the other double room next to me. And now we're going to the Modern Museum of Art or the Museum of Modern Art. I always mix that up. I've never been there. She hasn't either. So it should be pretty fun. And I'm excited to see some really cool artwork. That's where I was a couple weeks ago. There it is, MoMA. Here we are. Wow. This is actually it. This is Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I feel like you can see a horse much better through a screen. Like, like that's the face. Oh yeah. And then there's like people oh, yeah. pointing towards it. No way, it's Pablo Picasso. This one's so cool. All of the brush strokes go from top to bottom, which makes me think like maybe I should do a domino thing that only uses dominoes that are vertical. I guess that's a field, but you know, like different, different ways to arrange domino lines. What is this place? This is so cool.
Look, there's dominoes. We just finished up at the Museum of Modern Art. So cool to see everything here. I feel very inspired. I'm here with my friend. Hi. It yes. was a great museum. Definitely recommend. This is super fun. Good morning. This is gonna be a pretty different day for me because I'm actually doing a video shoot for someone. I've never been hired to do specifically video, but Giovanni, the Rubik's Cube artist, needs someone to film him. It's at the Liberty Science Center in New Jersey. The museum is actually closed, but uh, they blocked off an area for Giovanni to work, so it should be pretty fun. We got a Rubik's Cube hand-signed by the amazing Giovanni. Javen B. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Now you have to learn how to solve it. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you're going to teach me that. The shoot has begun and Giovanni and his friend Anthony are going to be making a large mural of Ellen DeGeneres out of these Rubik's Cubes. I'm doing the filming for them. So I've set up this time-lapse camera way up here on the balcony. They're down here marking out the border of where this portrait will be. I'm gonna take some cool b-roll and like close-up shots of them building and then they'll have a drone person come in, get a cool like overhead shot as it moves up on top of it. I'm excited to be here and I never would have expected that I'd be doing Doing a video job. Making super good progress. They're back here building Ellen DeGeneres. It's weird but also really cool being behind the camera for once as the person just filming, not building and filming. Look at that. Is that Havesh vlog? Yeah. Wow. No, it's, it's behind the five vlog. Oh, it's behind the five vlog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Anthony Brooks, and I'm gonna solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh. What? <laughs> I couldn't even see that. I, I was actually, I was thrown off by how good it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a wrap on this project. They did it, it looks amazing. My work here is done. Cleanup is so much faster with cubes than dominoes. I'm jealous. Look at this, and it's perfect. <laughs> uh, perfect. Back at the office with Joel. Hey. In case you missed the last vlog, this is my editor. Indeed. We are going to do a lot of editing domino videos today. A lot of training. Yeah. Some fall downs. Yeah. Some big topples. Yeah, yeah. All the dominoes are just like piled up back here. <laughs> we got a whole editing station. Like this is what we need. Super good day of editing. We're 99% finished this video, so super happy. I think Joel is really getting the hang of how to edit fall downs in terms of my thinking and just overall style and thought process to what clips to include and when to choose them. So great work, Joel. I'm so glad we were able to meet. I know you're watching this again. I'm gonna go get some dinner and then I'll come back here, do some more editing. Lots of editing. Good morning, another day. Another domino build. This time I'm going to the YouTube space again, except I'm in one of their really awesome black box studios. So it's like a flat, like super smooth black floor with black curtains. First I need to pack all the dominoes and the materials and all of my camera equipment. So I got a suitcase over here and I'm gonna just stuff it with dominoes. Havish 5. Whoa, look at this studio. Let's make use of this dramatic lighting. Let's build Domino. I can't even do this seriously. I just finished the very first setup in here. Check out this spiral. I really hope this works. This was like the most epic day with filming. This red camera, this can do 6k not 4k 6k we got like a dolly over here this is a whole legit production over here isn't it Q 
cutest police car ever. <laughs> YouTube space project. Here's the first project of the day. We have a very epic domino cube. We're filming the last one. We got some towers over here on a table and we're filming it with the red camera so the towers will kind of fall into the lens without actually hitting the lens. That is a wrap of the second day at the YouTube space. We got some amazing footage. I watched it back. It looks so good. <laughs> like I've never seen such high quality domino topples before. Super pumped to post this video. This thing is a monster. Look at it. We're gonna clean up, pack up all of our gear. And then later tonight, I'm going to my friend's premiere of his new scooter video. I started doing dominoes um, in my basement, totally alone. Uh, I, I, in many ways, I think this is what instilled patience in me. This is how I am able to spend such long hours editing.